Cities are places of opportunity, and so for the first time, more than half the world's population lives there. As this number continues to grow, the struggle for resources increases. In Lagos have uh, a community called Makoko. The interesting thing about Makoko is that it, you know, it's got over 100,000 people and every single house is built on water. The homes that people build in Makoko are the cheapest dwellings. Makoko is a community over 100 years old that thrives in the fishing and sawing industry. This region provides over a third of Lagos' fish supply and most of its timber. Makoko has no roads, it's got no uh, modern infrastructure, it's got no land. They have managed to create an environment and a living condition where uh, it represents maximum urbanization with the very minimum means. In its essence, Makoko is a challenge, yet its inhabitants have found solutions to the problems of overpriced land, the housing shortage, and frequent flooding. It is one of the many global examples of local innovation. Part of unlocking wealth out of poverty is in the ability to capitalize a city's uh, assets.
basically now looking into those environments to identify these solutions and bring them back into the so-called uh, developed regions where we believe that we can cultivate a new form of architecture and urbanism that is much more responsible. Every global problem contains and suggests its own solutions. Inlay believes that these seemingly chaotic worlds hold some of the answers to problems faced by cities in this century of mega needs. So it's not really about inventing new things, it's about uh, discovering existing solutions and applying them responsibly uh, globally. Our aim is to be inspired uh, and learn from the environment uh, where people have actually managed to be responsible and economical about the way they use resources and material uh, in making these places home.